channel. Today's video is going to be myself closing out my June budget. If you've watched any of my previous weekly check-ins, then you will know that we have not been having the best month. Um, our budgets have slowly been going downhill since moved into our new house, but we are starting a brand new budget system in the month of July, but I'll explain that all when I do my July budget video. I know that I'm a little bit behind, I've not posted in a couple of days. Um, we actually ended up going away for the weekend, so it kind of made me um, behind, but hoping to get back on track now and really stick to it in July since I am off on holiday from school. But let's get on with the last week for June, so that was from the 21st until the 30th. I am filming this on the 29th, but um, I shouldn't, I don't see us spending any money tomorrow, so yeah, that should be fine. But as you can see, I have put in my little expenses. I do have a couple. I'm expecting us to be over budget in every category, but hopefully it will all kind of work out in the end. I'm hoping, but let's just get started on doing this week's weekly check-in. So, if I flip over to my weekly check-in spread, so it's from the 21st until the 30th. Excuse if my handwriting is going to be terrible. I've actually been outside all day in this gorgeous sun, but we have been doing the garden. So I've been outside all day, working really hard, and then I went a big long walk with my mum, so I'm feeling actually a little bit shaky. <laughs> I think I've just overexerted myself. I really just want to lie in the freezer. It's really warm. But I thought I'd better get this video all filmed for you guys. But let me know in the comment section how your June has been, if you've had a good June, and also if you are taking any holidays. Um, that's why we ended up going away just because we knew that we weren't going to get uh, abroad anywhere to go on holiday. So we just thought a little weekend away would work just as well. We ended up going to a lovely hotel and it was just good to get away, have a nice dinner and just kind of chill. <laughs> but that is all of my categories. So let's zoom you in a bit. So the first one we're going to look at is petrol. And I do actually have an expense. So that was on Monday. And that was for £21. So that's how much we spent. We spent £21. And we did have £18.82 remaining so if I grab my calculator 1882 minus the 20 that we spent we were over budget by one pound and 18 pence which is not the worst I think this might be the best category out of them all even though we're over budget we're not over budget by much and I'm very quickly just going to put lines on all of these just because there's no weeks remaining next let's have a look at a Food, so food shop. Okay, we have Tesco's for $22.68 and Aldi for $24.99. And we also had Thomas's Hello Fresh come out and that was $32.32. So altogether it was about $79.99 on Food. I mean, I'll just tick this off so that I don't forget it. So, $79.99. We have been over budget a lot on food this month, but I'm hoping we can get back on track. So, if I add the 24 14 that we are already over budget, we're over budget in food by £104.13. So 104.13. Next is household, and I know that we spent nothing on household. 
we're kind of over budget in the first week so we haven't really bought anything else but for the month of July I am going to I'm so excited I'm going to create like a little cart with all of our laundry things and I'll definitely show you that once I've done that but super excited for that so we were four pins ten pins over budget for that and next we have eating out and we have one expense which is Chinese for £23. We ended up having it with Thomas's dad and his dad's girlfriend. So that was really fun. So 23 And we were already over budget by 46.70. So we are over budget by 69.70. And we had no more unbudgeted expenses this week. But of course we were already over budget by 14.37. So that is the last week. It's all red, which I hate to see, but let's actually close out our budget. So I have my little sheet here with Thomas's wage on it. So I'm just going to add these up. Nice and Work. So, what he I estimated that he would get one thousand one hundred fifty-two, but he actually got one thousand two hundred and seventy. And then we did have the twenty pound rollover. So, if I add all of this up, that gives us a total income of. £3,212. Perfect. So let's have a look at our budget. So for petrol, we were over by £1.18. So our actual is £1.218. For food, our budget was 280 but we were over by 104.13 so our actual total was 34 so 384 pounds and 13 pence for eating out we set a budget of 130 but we were over budget by 69 pounds 70 pence so we actually spent 199 pounds 70. Household, we were over by £4.10 pence, and we had a budget of 100 so we actually spent £104.10. Pence. Events, let's have a look. So these are these little red stickers. Oh, So we had Brodie for £54.98. I can tick that off and then we had my papa's birthday for £16.20 so that means that we spent a total of £71.18 which is under budget great and then unbudgeted was £14.37 so let's actually add up all of these totals so in total that comes to £1,944.66 which is way over so one nine four four six six and then with my red pen we can write how much we were over by so petrol was 118 Food was 104.13, eating out 69.70, household was £4.10, 14.37 for unbudgeted. We were under budget for events by 8.82. And we were the same for these two. So overall, if I zoom you right in so you can see, 
for this little section right here, we were over in our variable expenses by a total of £184.66. So, figure out our actual savings. I'm going to take our actual budget, which was 3212, minus our variable expenses, 194466, minus this, 129472, and as you can see, we were under. So, we actually had to dip in to our savings for this. This is the only month in the full, well over a year that I have done this, that we have ever had a minus savings. Of course, we have our sinking fund, so we are saving money, but we had to dip into our savings a bit. As you see, by £27.38, it's just been one of those <laughs> terrible months. But, yeah, that is our June... <laughs> Budget. The last thing I want to do is put down all of my no spend stickers and then add up how many that we had. Um, I know it's kind of pointless doing this now because, of course, we we're over budget anyway, but I still like to keep track of it just to see how we're doing. Um, if it's the amount of days that we are spending or just how much, like on certain days that we are spending. I think that our big goal is food and eating out in the month of July. We are going over those a lot and hopefully our petrol bill won't be as much because I won't be travelling to work, it will just be Thomas. So we did have six no spend days that week, so let's count up how many that I had. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve no spend days. How many did we have last month? Last month we had twelve as well. And on the month of April we had fourteen. So we are on par with last month, but we just have to do so much better in terms of our spending. But that is my June budget, I'm so glad, all finished off, everything is all completed, can't wait to start July and just start fresh with a brand new month, but I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you're looking forward to most in the month of July, I would love to hear what you're planning or what you're looking forward to and I'll see you in my next video for the start of the month of July. Have a magical day guys, bye!